Welcome to Clean Radio, helping to navigate the journey of recovery by removing the stigma and offering a choice for a new life. How isolating did it feel, though? You know, you're, you're in the ice capades, you're Thai Babylonia, you're, you're, like you said, you're America's sweetheart, and you know you're drinking. And you yeah. know your drinking might be getting a little askew. I think it did at that point. Towards the, not not early on, not in the not until like the la late, kind of mid '80s that I, you know that that I kind of thought about it, but thought I could handle it. I mean, I was drinking. It was it was it got to the point I was taking a little. You know, we had these dressing rooms in like at Harris Lake Tahoe and Caesar's Palace and. You know, Sammy Davis would be there the week, you know, the week before. There's there's a full bar. Those were <laughs> wow. the days of full yeah. bar in All your right. dressing room, and I took advantage of that. And and you know, thinking I could perform, you know, and be relaxed with a little shot of brandy. I I I went there. I went there, and I I think because I was an Olympian, I could sort of keep it together physically. You know, just being a a, a good athlete kind of got me through it. But in the end, it, it backfired. Oh.